What's poppin' Air Gunners? This is Denny from Flatbroke Air Gunner, and today we are going to do an unboxing of the Impact Max Elite in 22 cal. Me and my uh, old lady went to the grocery store to get toilet paper, and there was none there. And since she didn't want to waste the trip, she came out with this, some silhouette targets, a 22 cal speed loader pen, and uh, a metal gong plate. And I couldn't even believe they had the metal gong plate at Walmart, but they did. And she came out with all that stuff, so got the greatest girl in the world. So, here we go. We're going to take a look at this and see what's going on here. All right. It's taped up. So, says here max impact max elite 22 caliber high velocity gas piston air rifle has all the stats five chamber noise dampener significantly reduces downrange muzzle noise permanently affixed neighbor and game friendly system easy scope mounting absorbs vibration reduces noise and reduces scope movement Turbo nitrogen technology, fiber optic front sight, rifle sling included, micro adjustable fiber optic rear sight, nucleus rail mount. So yeah, four four times thirty two air gun specific scope included, ambidextrous automatic safety, two stage adjustable trigger. I really like the automatic safeties. Uh, I didn't like them in the beginning. But they've grown on me, and I think it's something that, especially if you have a new shooter in the house, I think it's a good idea to have that. Okay, hopefully we don't need that again. Okay, here's the sling that comes with it. Yep, we're going to need that again. And I'm getting worse and worse with this thing. I used to be able to toss it around pretty good. Here, I'm getting scared. I'm going to chop my finger up. <laughs> okay, so just your basic hard metal sling, which uh, it looks definitely durable and will get the job done. It's only got one line of stitching on this, though. I would probably uh, beef that up a little more if I was going to do any extended out at the farm kind of hunting. So. But still, it's nice and it's cool that it came along with the package. So, okay. The scope set up. Hope you guys are being safe out there and, uh, you know, this pandemic that's going on. It's hard to tell, really, if it's as bad as they say it is or if it's media hype and i'm kind of hoping it's just media hype because it would be terrible if this is the new black plague or something crazy like that especially when i just got a new air gun come on man come on man so yeah looks like uh your basic scope oh this one's made by umarex so made in china so i probably should Handle that kind of gingerly. No, I'm just kidding. This has probably been in the box way longer than the coronavirus has been around. So, Ugh. here we go. Now we're getting to the meat and potatoes. Seal the man in. Open on this. Oh, yeah. Barrel, brake barrel quick tips. Uh, well, all common sense stuff. So yeah, that's what you get. It looks very nice. It has a, a nice heft to it. I like the fact that it's real wood, that it's not a plastic made to look like wood. So, yeah. The front fiber optic looks really cool. I like the way that it's all set up. 
Hopefully it doesn't really get in your way too much when you're breaking the barrel down. But it's got fiber optic rears, nice big Picatinny mount for a... Uh, that, I'm probably going to put a couple hundred rounds through it before I even try to put the scope on. I like to let the gun settle in a little bit and get a little more used to what it's supposed to do as opposed to throwing the scope on and just letting the brand new mechanism beat it to death. So, But yeah, so this is the Ruger Impact Max Elite in 22 brake barrel. And it just got it. And... Uh, the owner's manual and all that and speaking of the owner's manual i'd like to talk to you guys on my last video i did it was the umarex cult peacemaker this gun right here and i had stated that it had a smooth bore barrel it does not have a smooth bore barrel this one has a rifled barrel there is one that has a smoothbore barrel, but that is uh, the BB version. So, uh, I was incorrect on saying that this model has a smoothbore barrel. Also, I said this gun weighs in at about 2.10 pounds, and I think it's actually closer to like 4.75 maybe, something like that. By no means am I an expert on air guns. I'm just a guy who likes air guns and buys air guns. I use the owner's manual and the internet to try to bring stuff forward to you so that you don't have to do that stuff. Clearly on the last video, uh, I got the what had come along with this gun was the owner's manual for the BB version. So that's where the miscommunication started. I would never try to mislead you or trick you into anything air gun related. And I state again, I am not an expert. I'm just a guy that really loves the sport and loves making videos and showing you guys my new stuff. And hopefully if you like it enough on the video, you'll look into it and possibly get one of your own. And hopefully I had a little hand in that. But there was a few mistakes. Uh, one of my viewers on Facebook pointed it out, and I wanted to bring it to your attention because I want to put forth the best video program I can. And when there's stuff that's misinterpreted or just flat out not factual and wrong, it's never because I would try to mislead you. It's because I haven't research the product enough in as many ways as I can. So I'm going to try to crack down on that better for you guys. I wanted to apologize and say thanks for watching. And again, uh, not only does your viewership, but your friendship means a lot to me. Always be a straight shooter. Always wear your shooting glasses when you're shooting. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you again for tuning in, my friends. Be safe out there during this crazy times, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care of yourself. And shoot as much as you can. Quarantine means indoor shooting.